One for Israel. Stamps, take one. We were in New York, and um, and this friend calls, and he said he had met a guy named Erez who was just fantastic. He runs One for Israel, the only Hebrew-speaking, Hebrew-language Bible college in the world. He said, from the college, they're doing these evangelistic videos that are fantastic. And the more we dug in and got to know the team and the leadership, we were like, wow, One for Israel truly is doing something that no one else is doing. As we've gotten a part of this organization, um, I've been studying more about it. In fact, I'm doing a Bible study that's just studying the Old Testament in Israel, and it's just created a hunger in me to know more about them and why they are God's special people. And I've, I've learned how much He cares about them, and it makes me want to care about them more. And um, so it's really ignited just um, a hunger and fascination in me to learn more about Israel. We're so touched by uh, the, the heart of the ministry that is led predominantly by Jewish believers in Jesus. There are also Arabic believers in Jesus as a part of the ministry. To see these guys come together and to see this, there, there's no other banner under which the, the Jews and the Arabs are going to come together with, with such sincere and deep and heartfelt love other than the banner of Jesus. And that's what they see at the Bible College as these people come together and, and, and then go forward and minister together at One for Israel and in the local churches. Through One for Israel, we're taking the gospel to Israel where we can be a part of something historical, but also in a prophetic way, we can then, God willing, be a part of exporting the gospel from Israel to the rest of the world. The relationship that we've developed with One for Israel has deepened our, 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 our sensitivities and, and that call, that, the, the biblical mandate to bless Israel. Part of the One for Israel story is that unlike most Israeli ministries that we hear of around here in, in the, the States, these are guys that understand the culture. They are Jewish by birth, but they're Israelis, uh, and, and they understand what's going on and how best to relate to, to the customs and the, and the traditions. And uh, it's brought a whole different perspective to us rather than us guessing how to bless Israel. I mean, these are people that are just deeply humble and missional in their work and in their lives. They're the tip of the spear for the Messianic movement in Israel. Christians must support eternal causes. Our resources, our attention must be on taking Jesus uh, to those that don't know him. One for Israel is providing content and the gospel in languages that others just have not simply invested. They're singularly focused on, on, on introducing people to Jesus and then growing them in their faith and deepening the church. And so for us, uh, there's no question that, that if we're gonna bless Israel, we bless Israel with Jesus, and we see no better way to do that than through One for Israel.